at 6.45 on the 20th of August. <clears throat> the temperature is 60 degrees. And uh, sunrise was at 5.39. And Flynn probably tried, tried to wake me up around that the first time. He tried a second time and got me up around 6.10. Nothing on the cellular game cameras. The uh, the northwest one is already showing less than 100% on the lithium ion batteries, which I replaced less than a week ago. <clears throat> so I'm getting tired of these things. Uh, did I say sunrise time? 5:39. I think it did. Sunset 732. Yeah, still nobody. Anyway, woke up yesterday at four o'clock. About wonder when the uh, vehicle delivery is going to happen. <coughs> he called up said 7:30. And then uh, I think it's 7.42, he said another 12 minutes because he just turned on to 169. And uh, I watched him on Live 360. And uh, so he turned on the Tar Ridge, so I knew it was time to go. Hopped in the truck, drove over to uh, Tom's place, parked, set up a GoPro, the old Legacy GoPro on the dashboard, hoping to uh, record the whole thing. But as soon as I turned the camera on, my cell phone was ringing that he was at the driveway. I could see him at the head of the driveway. So I quickly just put the uh, GoPro on the dashboard, not looking to see where it was pointing. And it was too low. So. What I did was record the sky, clouds passing in the sky. <clears throat> Unloading the vehicles went without a hitch. He did uh, drive off the driveway a little bit. I was gotten back and I was walking backwards. I turned around. To get a little 30 paces down the driveway, and when I turned around, he had gone off the drive. So, fortunately, I didn't go too far. The trailer sunk in a little bit. He was able to drive out and uh, spun his wheel just a little bit. But we got the cars off, the truck off. Uh, one's a Jeep, Cherokee, has a a Dodge 1500. Surprisingly, the guy that transports vehicles doesn't know how to drive a stick shift. So, I jumped up on the trailer to get into the vehicle. The 50, Dodge 1500. I drove that off. And we went to breakfast at the club. I ordered my usual, but I didn't get the uh, biscuit with sausage really. I couldn't complain because I, I think they gave me four eggs scrambled. And there was sort of such a large pile of eggs. around nine, a little after nine. So things were still starting to wind down. There were still people coming in. We actually had a park behind the building because there was no parking places available up front. And there were actually two or three vehicles out on the road. So 
So Brother Tom is officially retired. Well, not officially retired. He has no more days of work. He's on vacation now. I think his official retirement's in uh, late September, October sometime. But, fortunately, he doesn't have to drive down to uh, Jersey City, Manhattan anymore. After breakfast, I uh, realized I wanted to take a look at the, the tire on the 1500. And uh, it was still strapped down. It was a bulge on the sidewall caused by the strap. I wanted to make sure that that had gone down. It did. So. The vehicle's made look okay. There's <clears throat> <clears throat> a text from Sandy. Of Kevin and Sandy over on Tar Ridge. They were up on Skillinger Road. And they saw two bull moose and one cow. And by cow, I mean a female moose, not a, not a dairy cow. I don't know if Twin Pixie sees, he's in stalking mode. Like Matt's got some uh, lumber up there to build the building. Yep. <clears throat> I think it's supposed to rain today. It's cloudy. A little chilly, but it's comfortable. High humidity. Come back next time. to uh, the club for breakfast. Roger Eck walked in. At first he sat down at a different table, but then he saw us and came over and talked to us. He had sent me a message earlier that he was going to uh, the club for waffles and eggs. And the way he worded it, I thought he was already there at 7.30 in the morning, but <clears throat> he showed up at a little bit after 9 as well.
I asked Roger again whether he's flown his drone yet. He bought a drone several years ago. And uh, at first he had trouble getting the app on his iPhone. I'm not even sure whether he did that yet. But then he was uh, saying he had to read the manual. Again, I don't know if he did that. It did show up one day unannounced at the house with the drone. Wanting to learn how to use it, but we weren't there, so. I have to uh, send him a text asking whether he has uh, charge the batteries or put them into standby mode, storage mode. I don't know if you have that option with the uh, Phantom 3. Uh, the Phantom 4 you can put them in, in storage mode. <clears throat> <coughs> Rock here looks like it might want to puncture a tire. <coughs> oh, coyote scat. Haven't heard them. Normally you hear them off in the, the woods. I haven't heard them. Worked up the, uh, the road, has got some trail cameras out there. He's had uh, the video of the pack of them going through. Some uh, shotgun pellet blasts on there, but I have to see a could be a 22 or a, oh, three of them. That's bigger than a 22. Venture guess to what caliber it was. Get out of there. Come on, bud. Let's go.
Uh, I have no idea what today's plan is. <clears throat> I'm about to have coffee and maybe one of those Jimmy Dean sausage egg and cheese on English muffin. I don't want uh, scrambled eggs today. Although the egg is scrambled on the sausage egg and cheese. I don't know. I had pancakes yesterday. Scrambled eggs, sausage. I don't want cereal. There's not many options. Any tracks on the scat? I don't see any of them. That's strange. You think you had paw prints there? Uh. <clears throat> Not the kind of weather you want to take your boat out in. <clears throat> Especially since the forecast says it might rain. Don't want to take the motorcycle out. A little too cool. Plus the rain. over this rock. for oil filter, oil, fuel filter, change in tire rotation. I wonder what kind of bird that is. I'm thinking about asking them to uh, adjust the parking brake. <clears throat> Had brakes done at uh, 120,000 miles. I got 135,000 miles on it now, so that's 15,000 miles. I mean, even after the uh, brakes are done at 120,000, they failed it. They failed to adjust the uh, parking brake. No. 
fuel filter, oil filter, oil. And the tire rotation is going to put me up around 300 bucks for that, so I don't want to add too much to it with the parking brake. I almost never use the parking brake since mine's an automatic. Flynn's not going to take care of business this morning. <clears throat> yeah, he just wants to get home and have his treats. I think we've seen a hair yet this morning. <coughs> Could be the coyotes came through and left it out. I haven't seen squirrels in a while either. Not that I miss them. At one point we had uh, more than six of them running around here. Alright, let's wrap this up. Get my coffee. But he'll have his treats. Alright, thanks for watching.